Hey friends, Karen Basket DIYer here. Thank you so much for coming back for another crazy fun, who knows how it's going to go tumbler with me. Um, this tumbler today is exactly that, you guys. This went nothing as planned, but um, as always, you know I don't give up on tumblers. I do my best to push through. And you know, the double-sided sticky sheets are kind of like the big thing right now in the tumbler world. I had never ever attempted one. I had never watched a tutorial. I had just seen bits and pieces on TikTok where people were applying glitter. So if you're in need of a good laugh, you are definitely going to get it today in this tutorial. I have zero trouble admitting that I had no clue what I was doing, but I just went for it. If you're so, new here, welcome. If you're a regular, thanks so much for coming back. I drop Tumblr tutorials every Sunday and Thursday at 6 a.m. And if you're new here, you are going to also see I do a lot of DIY projects. Um, my husband and I are currently in the process of flipping a farm. So that's our newest endeavor. But anyways, just stay tuned, follow along, and I'll show you how I ended up with this. Okay, so what you're seeing here is me going into Cricut Design Space and I clicked on shapes and found this parallelogram. Um, I tilted it sideways and lined it up there on that vertical line and then I duplicated it and did the exact same thing, just matched it up to create this first shape. Um, I then duplicated that, or grouped it together, duplicated it, <laughs> forgot to ungroup and they got stuck together. But um, anyways, you can just kind of see that that little chevron print there is happening, leaving a little bit of gap in between each one so that when I cut these later on, um, they'll have the lines in between each space. So I just duplicated, made three sets of it, welded it all together, um, sized it up to the you know measurement of my 20 ounce skinny that I'm gonna be using. I could have just left that all welded together. I'm not exactly sure what I'm doing here. Um, just situating them, moving them around. I had already created one set um, before showing you guys this. So that's what this second set is here. But anyways, then I just sent it on to my Cricut mat and cut it using this double-sided sticky tape paper. Okay, so I got my double-sided sticky sheet paper cut and you, you are probably cringing right now because of what I'm doing. You guys, I absolutely had no earthly idea how this process was supposed to work. Um, I've never watched a tutorial on this. I just have seen TikToks here and there, bits and pieces, and never watched a full tutorial on this. So yeah, um, now that it's all said and done, I realize I totally screwed up. But I'm going to go ahead and allow you to painfully watch the process because I want you to realize that just because you mess up on a cup doesn't mean you can't totally redeem it. So if you're looking at my paper there, you can see that my Cricut setting cut too deep and cut through the paper. So yeah, it's going to make for a real hard process here in just a little bit. But again, I want you to see that this can be saved and you know, you don't have to toss those messed up cups. You can come up with new ideas and different ways to rescue them. Oh my word, you guys, what a mess. But I decided to just go ahead and peel all the sticky off and try to get everything off the tumbler. And then an idea hit me. You guys, I'm, I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna make this work for a cool tumbler. Um, yeah, totally new direction on this one than I had planned, but I think it'll be fun. Here, I'm just putting some of the paper backing back onto the sticky parts to cover up my tan gram pieces. Okay, I know at this point you are probably like, what the heck is she doing? This tumbler makes no sense. I told you I'm just gonna make something work out of this. I have chosen several different fine glitters. Twinkle Mauve, Twilight Beach, Blushed, and NYC. These are from Maker Flow and Glitter and Grand. Okay. Again, hoping this works. I 
I decided to just open these glitters up and start pouring them on the sticky paper, sticky tape, and no rhyme or reason really. Um, not trying to, you know, do any kind of a pattern whatsoever, just going with the flow here now and making this all work out. Overall, I think that the sticky tape is actually very sticky. So I'm going to be linking that for you in the description below. I got it off of Amazon and I think I'm pretty pleased with it. Um, you know, it seems to be as good as some of the others that I've seen on TikTok and all. Okay, it's all covered as good as I possibly could do it with the mess ups and mishaps that happened. This is just like a bubble under here that I couldn't get to lay down very well. But I'm gonna rely on glitter glue to help hold that down. And you guys, I have it in my head how this is gonna turn out. And it definitely is not how I envisioned it in the beginning, but now that I'm where I'm at, it's gonna actually look really cool. These colors are beautiful together. Can you imagine if this was a real tangram that worked out for real? I'm just gonna use a dry brush, a chip brush to dust off any excess glitter. And then I'm gonna seal this up with glitter glue. And here I'm just sealing it all up with glitter glue just to keep things from shifting around too much. And it's also just super helpful when it comes to your bright tone layers. It helps you achieve smoother layers faster. Once I got the glitter glue on, I allowed it to dry for two hours and then I was able to move on to bright tone layers. Um, just keep them thin. You can apply a new layer every four hours. Um, as you can see here, <laughs> it still just looks pretty ridiculous, but trust me, you guys, it's gonna look amazing in the end. Um, I did not put any glitter or sticky tape or anything on the bottom of the tumbler. I have an idea for that. It's coming, I promise, hang tight. Okie dokie, friends. Here is where I'm at with this hot mess, okay? Um, got some layers of bright tone on here and <laughs> I am laughing at myself because I obviously have not watched a tutorial on how this double-sided sticky tape paper is done. I just have seen a couple of TikToks of people applying their glitter. So I really had no clue what I was doing and I'm not afraid to admit that. But um, yeah, so I'm gonna go over all my seams um, not some of these up here, but go over all my seams with this washi tape. And then I have something else I'm going to be doing that is going to make up for all this gross awfulness. Okay, be patient. Hang with me. Okie dokie. So here it is now with the, you know, washi tape striping on it. And had this gone how it should have gone, this cup would be smoking, I think, because I'm loving my com color combination. But I'm about to fix this with these gold flakes. Now, I may use gold and silver. Um, because, you know, I don't want it, this gold to be such a different gold. So a silver would probably help with that too. But anyways, I'm just going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to be using the Elmer's glue um, stick here to apply it like I've done in my past videos. So that's what's about to happen. I'm really just gonna go over any imperfection that I see, which is probably gonna end up being the whole cup, but it's gonna be rustic, it's gonna be cool, and I'm not worried about it. I think it's gonna end up looking pretty, pretty great after all. 
and I wore a glove in other videos while doing this and I probably should be doing that right now, but I'm not, so I may end up with like foil fingers big time. Um, I found that it's just best to just grab chunks of it and just start sticking it on. And you don't have to be as perfect about it. And then a little later, after that's dry, I will use um, a paintbrush to knock all this off. Get some of it off now though, just make it a little easier. I hope you guys are seeing what I'm seeing and realizing, you know, I totally had to change my mindset on this one. Okay, so now I'm just gonna move on with Silver Flakes and try to do the same thing, just sporadic and random and cover for imperfections. Once I got all the foil flakes applied and that glue was dry, I then took it outside and completely dusted off all the excess. I just used a chip brush to sweep it all off and make sure that there wasn't any like sticking up or anything. I then just brought it back in and gave it a nice coat of glitter glue just to hold all those foil flakes in place so that nothing would shift later on whenever I start applying my bright tone layers. Okay, so it's time for this one's first layer of bright tones since I added all the foils and my glitter glue's dry. Everything is ready, so here goes the first layer. All in all, I ended up doing about six layers of bright tone. You have to allow four hours of dry time between each layer. I did do a level sand. That does help with the shine of the bright tone. But anyways, here it is. Oh my wow, I absolutely love it. Um, I think this turned out way better than I anticipated considering the fact that it was such a disaster in the beginning. Um, you know, you guys, more than anything, I want you to know that you just can push through and make something good out of you know, something so horrendous. So I hope you enjoyed this Tumblr tutorial. I hope that you will like, subscribe, comment, let me hear from you. I do hope that your use of double-sided sticky paper goes much easier than mine did. And I do hope that you learned from my mistakes so that you don't make the same ones. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful, blessed day.